Hi and welcome to our 22nd test and measurement video on today's amazing oscilloscopes. In this second of a two-part series, we'll continue the discussion of triggering with the more advanced topics of slope triggering and hold-off in the Tektronix MDO3104 oscilloscope. To illustrate, we have connected the built-in arbitrary function generator to analog channel 1 using a BNC cable. Press AFG. Be sure that channel 1 is active. The default sine wave appears unless a different waveform remains from a previous session. If that is the case, press waveform, the first soft key on the left below the, the display, and using multipurpose knob A, select sign. Press menu off to get a clear view of the display. Press waveform settings and normalize the parameters. We've set frequency to 60 Hz. This can be done by adjusting multipurpose knob A. But even when fine is toggled off, the keypad is faster. When you hit the first digit, the units menu bar appears and you can adjust hertz. Similarly, amplitude can be set for 5 volts peak to peak. You may have to press auto set to get a good display. Now we're ready to look at two triggering modes that are more advanced than those we discussed in the first part of the series in video 21. First, Press menu in the triggering section just to the left of the keypad. Then press slope, the fourth horizontal soft key from the left. Three modes of triggering are shown graphically above the soft key. They are triggering on rising slope, triggering on falling slope, and both. You can toggle among the three using the soft key. Notice how the display changes with respect to the x-axis. Trigger hold-off is a valuable feature that is used to create a stable display when the instrument is jumping the gun, so to speak, triggering on undesired events that may be occurring in the signal. Hold-off is very simple to use. Press the last soft key to the right in the horizontal row above the display. This brings up the hold-off menu bar to the right of the display. Press the second soft key to place the instrument in normal mode. Then multipurpose knob A with fine deactivated can be used to select the hold-off time. Again, the keypad is faster. We'll set the hold-off to mi 6 microseconds. Press 6 on the keypad. Immediately the menu, the units menu comes up and you can choose microseconds. We have inserted a six microsecond interval following a trigger point during which triggering will not be seen. After the expiration of this time period, the instrument will trigger on the next triggering event, conforming to level and slope parameters that have previously been set by the operator. Thanks for watching. New videos are added periodically, so check back frequently.